focus. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. The focus might remind us of the debates on most of our TV channels. We are anchors and participants spewing venom, shouting, berating and condemning any point of view that does not agree with their own. It is sobering to realize that human nature hasn't changed much since the time of Jesus. In the Gospel, we see an angry crowd ready to commit murder because someone dares to tell them that God could choose a foreigner instead of them. Naman had quite a lot to be angry about too. He was a strong, a mighty warrior who had to live with a disfiguring weakness. He had the pride that comes with high office and yet, with extraordinary humility, listen to the advice of his servants. He expected a mighty act of healing from the Prophet, but nevertheless accepted what he considered to be a foolish alternative. And so Jesus reminds us that God chose Naman. If God is to work in our lives, we must be willing to let go of our cherished hopes and beliefs and be ready sometimes to accept quite the opposite. If we remain enraged by the very thought that God could love those who are different from us and who reject our opinions, then Jesus will pass through our mists and walk away. Fruit, may I learn to see and hear like the Lord.